Richard Southern is back with us to discuss some of the more interesting stories. And we're starting off with something that's, you know, a little near and dear to my heart. You know, you can get uh, Ancestry.com or 23andMe to find out about your familial heritage, but you can also do that for pets. Did you know that, Richard? Well, I know that now. I didn't <laughs> know it up until the other day when you came to me and you said, Richard, I'm going to give Luna, my cute one-eyed dog, who we talk about all the time here, I'm gonna give her a DNA test to find out what her ancestry was about. And you got the results back this weekend, I right, did Erica? get the results, and we're going to reveal it right now. So this is with Embark. I bought this, I just have to mention, I, I did buy this DNA test for her. And I found out that she's a Shih Tzu mix, basically. She's got five different breeds there. She's a Shih Tzu, Poodle, Pekingese, Bichon Frise, and Pomeranian. So I put this out. I adopted her from the Winnipeg Humane Society back in 2015. Shout out to them. And I've never really known anything about her background, and this kind of revealed some mysteries for me. What did it surprise you? What did you think she was? I was surprised. I, I thought she definitely had some Pomeranian, maybe even Chihuahua. A lot of people told me online they thought she might have had some Chihuahua there. It's not there. What surprised me was the Poodle and the Bichon Frise, which I don't see, but I don't know. And are you okay with this? Are you looking at Luna any differently now? No, she's always been perfect to me. This is really just sort of to shed a little bit more light on her past. I know nothing about, I don't even know how she lost her eyes. So she's very just, secretive. We need to do a deeper dive on, on Luna's backstory, I think, one yeah, day, Erica. Yeah, one day. We'll find out all the... What, what did it cost, by the way, the DNA test? Can you it, tell us? I, I will say it was over $100, so it was quite costly, but... You know, I, only I, the best. Only I the work best hard for Luna. so that she can have the best life. All right, <laughs> it's quite a month for fans of the Netflix series Stranger Things, Richard. It is Stranger Things Day, as a matter of fact, uh, November 6th, an important day for fans of the show, because in the show, that's uh, when the story starts, uh, November 6, 1983, and today has been used as a day to announce new things as regards the franchise, and today was no different. We're finding out when the stage production of Stranger Things will get up and running. It's called Stranger Things The First Shadow, and it's going to take to the stage in London, England's West End. Previews begin November 17th. And it's going to be at the Phoenix Theatre there in jolly old London. Opening date, uh, December 14th. The stage production is a prequel to the show based in 1958. So, uh, I don't know, are you a big stranger? I haven't watched it personally, Eric. I haven't watched it. My niece, she loves it. She's always talking about it. I'll get around to it one day. Put that on the to-do list. Yeah, after, after You've the... already checked off, a, give dog a DNA test. I know. Hey, can you move now on to it's this? watch Stranger Things. Okay, finally, some runners in yesterday's New York City Marathon had the option to put a little hop in their steps thanks to a local running club. This is almost enough to get me out there running, Erica. New York City Marathon runners, they're used to, you know, people handing them water and some high-protein snacks during the race. Yesterday, though, a, a local Mar uh, Manhattan running club was handing runners beer. They could take a beer. <laughs> If they wanted to. Why not? Why not? 100% why not? Uh, and some, some did. Uh, the, the winner, uh, a man by the name of Tamrat Tola from Ethiopia, set a course record for the New York City Marathon. He ran the 26 miles, or 42 kilometers, in two hours, four minutes, and 58 My seconds, goodness. Erica. I, I can guarantee you he probably didn't have any beer while he, he was doing that. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Richard. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Look forward to it. See you then.